My world moves virtually at the speed of light, spinning spirally in space towards a future that's full of promises, full of dreams. I choose to be real with my dreams. I choose to find myself in a place where my dreams are beautifully shaped and nurtured. A haven of true knowledge and light. A place where I learn to live my life. Situated next to the Philippine seat of power, with campuses in the country's major hubs of business and commerce, culture and history, Centro Escolar University is the place where the highest forms of human thought, talent, and creativity blend together for a unique learning experience. The Scholarian education is anchored on the university's twin philosophy, Scientia e Virtù, science and virtue, the pursuit of knowledge guided by the highest ideals of humanity. The Scholarian education produces graduates who are empowered by timely knowledge and skills and inspired by timeless virtues to contribute to human and societal development.
This is where my dreams are set in motion and begin to turn into reality. The ultimate place of an unforgettably exciting and life-changing education. CEU is my choice, my future, my move. What is your best memory as a USA officer? One thing you love doing the most as an officer. What is the most important thing you realize during this pandemic? What is your goal as a leader? Lots of good memories being an officer, but the best one I have is my first USU week, and and that was last year. Back then, we spent months of planning every single detail of the event. get to meet and spend time with our USC alumni. Lahat naman best memory for me. Pero yung pinaka, yung pinaka the best para sa akin, yun yung sama-sama kami natapagod, sama-sama kami nagpaplano, sama-sama kami na re-relief, nabubunta ng tinik, nakawala yung pagod namin. Yun yung best memory para sa akin. Sama-sama kami I can still remember yung lagi namin sinasabi na, Guys, nakaka-enjoy mo pagod kapag kasama kayo. Uh, dito mo mararanasan lahat. Dito mo halos mararanasan yung difficulties problems and situation na dapat mong lagpasan and dito mo rin marirealize na magagawa mo pala siya. Yung time na nagpagkano kami ng mga activities para sa mga students kasi hindi ko talaga kung ano yung the best para sa mga students kung so, ano paano mo sila mamamasaya. Pagtanto ko ngayon nagka-pandemya ay yung, yung mga plano natin, hindi talaga siya yung masusunod, kundi yung plano ng Panginoon para sa atin. Then, at natutunan ko na maikli lang talaga yung buhay. Kaya gawin mo yung magpapasaya sa'yo, kasama ng mga taong mo, nagpapasaya sa'yo. My goal as a leader is to motivate others to become leaders. Influence others to serve as well. And not just to serve for the position, but to serve for a reason, for a purpose. Well, my goal as a leader is to continue inspiring the youth to keep on pushing themselves, keep on reaching their limits. And once they reach the limit, they have to break it. And after breaking it, they have to reach further. Because I believe that the only thing that stops us from reaching our full potential is ourselves. Number one goal as a leader is to inspire the youth and inspire them to become a great and responsible leader that this country needs. The best way to bring change? To register and to vote. To register and vote. To register and to vote. To register and vote. To register and vote. To register and to vote. To register and vote. To register and vote. Growth 
and perseverance are always our choices. It can be achieved as an individual and shared as a community. In the face of a global pandemic, Escolarians inspired and empowered one another by continuing to learn and keeping the fire alive. As we surge forward in the upcoming national elections in 2022, we encourage everyone to practice the right to vote. Voting is a power and a responsibility. Being able to vote gives us the opportunity to voice out our opinions. For the betterment of our community and our country, now we must remain hand in hand, embodying Escolarian spirit. As we work towards a brighter and stronger tomorrow for our nation. With unity, strength, and courage, we are empowered. Let us all bow our heads for the opening prayer to be led by the CEO Singers Manila. This will be followed by the singing of the Philippine National Anthem to be led by CEU Concert Band.
and gentlemen, let us all welcome our hosts for today, Ms. Pamela Gracie Corpus and Ms. Micaela Alisa V. Flores. Hi! Good morning, Freshies! Yan, hello to our new Escolarians! We welcome you to our university orientation for this school year 2021 to 2022. I am Pamela Gracie Corpus. You can call me Pam. Your University Student Council First Vice President for school year 2021-2022. And I am Micaela Alisa V. Flores. You can also call me Ate Mikai. I am your University Student Council President for school year 2021 to 2022 and we will be your hosts for today. Ayan, once again, to our freshman students, welcome to CEU. Ayan, Tommy, we are right here in the studio and we do not actually see everyone, but I am sure if we have the chance, we would see new faces watching us live here on our Facebook and YouTube. And I hope you are all excited to see us as, just as we are excited to share with you what we have prepared for today. And that being said, we invite all of you to post on the comment section below so you can write your name, your school, or say hi to everyone. And we get to read all of those posts right here in the studio. Yes, Ate Mikai, this is the University Welcome Activities and we currently have 2,000 viewers both in Facebook and YouTube. Wow! I am, Hello, everyone. <laughs> I am pretty sure our audience will be coming from the different schools in CEU Manila. So I bet we have students here from the School of Accountancy and Management. And of course, yan kanina nakikita ko, we have students from education, liberal arts, music, and social work. Yes, my school. Hello, guys. Uh, Next, we have students here from the School of Dentistry. Ayan, of course, meron tayo students from the School of Medicine. Yes, hello, everyone. And next up, we have students here from the School of Medical Technology. Ayan ako, Pami. Nakikita mo ba sa comment section kanina pa bago pa tayo mag-start? Yes. Nakikita ko talaga nagbabatian na sila, naghahanap na sila ng classmates sila. Ayan. Yes, keep Nakikita the comments. Yes, keep the comments coming, guys, because we also see students here from the School of Nursing. Ayan, of course, hindi naman magpapatala. Siyempre, we have students from the School of Nutrition and Hospitality Management. Yes, at nag-iingay rin ang mga students sa School of Optometry! Of course, we have here from the School of Pharmacy. And last but not the least, of course, from the School of Science and Technology. Ayan, ako yes, Sammy, and the schools are represented here because this is the university orientation. And let us remind them, though, that this afternoon will be their own orientation for, of each school mentioned. So I hope you're able to get the link so you can join your school orientation later. Yes, and now that we have done the first part of establishing some grounding, I think it's orientation. That is right, Tammy. And to officially start this orientation, we are very much honored and privileged to have with us today to welcome all of us here, ladies and gentlemen, the University President and Chief Academic Officer, Dr. Maria Cristina V. Padolina. Let us give her a virtual applause. A warm welcome to our newest Escolarians. The opening of classes is a time for celebration. We celebrate your decision and your resolve and that of your parents and guardians to continue your education, to work for your future, notwithstanding the challenges of the present. Getting an education, studying for a degree, is an expression of hope for the future. You, we, all of us, have a future that we ought to work for, to prepare for, to be ready for. 
the Centro Escolar University community joins you now in turning that hope into action. Allow me to share with you my favorite quotation about the future from John Shar, regarded a, le a legendary teacher at the University of California, Berkeley. He said, and I quote, the future is not some place we are going, but one we are creating. The paths are not to be found, but made, and the activity of making them changes both the maker and the destination. You have been making those paths and you have been building brick by brick the structures of your future. We celebrate your decision to continue that creation at CEU. The Central Scholar University community is committed to support you every step of the way. We join you in building that future with you as an active, productive, and responsible participant. The COVID-19 pandemic continues to rage all around the world. While the scientific community learns about how to control it and protect us, CEU has designed a learning modality to enable you to continue your studies and remain protected from this savage virus. Your teachers, enabled by the training that they have been undertaking and fueled by their enthusiasm and PAC have created engaging and interactive learning modules delivered through the CEU LEAPS, the CEU Learning, Engagement, and Proficiency System. This learning management system provides the mechanism for synchronous meetings or virtual classes so that you can see, hear, and mingle with your classmates. It also allows learning to happen at your own pace and place. CEU remains committed to provide holistic learning. Thus, aside from the formal learning opportunities through CEU LEAPS, many activities have been lined up to allow you to engage with your schoolmates in extracurricular and co-curricular activities all held online. These are opportunities for working with teams and developing leadership skills. These activities can also lead to a refinement of your values and a honing of your perspectives. Shen She Virtut, Science and Virtue, is the maxim of Centra Scholar University. We firmly believe that you need both competence and character for a productive career and a fulfilling life work. Let us, you, and the rest of the CEU community make your first year in college one of growth and achievement. Community lockdowns refer largely to physical mobility. With creatively designed and responsibly executed online learning events and activities coupled with your enthusiastic participation, you can experience a stimulating and enjoyable college life. The message I have tried to give you is that the university has done its best to produce a learning environment that befits the current conditions. I would be misleading you if I tell you that your college life or life in general this year will be easy. There will be difficulties, sad times, and stressful situations. Turn these into opportunities for learning. 
patience, perseverance, resoluteness, and resilience. Trees grow strong in adverse winds. As the wind blows against a tree, its root system grows deeper into the soil and the tree grows taller. As the winds of adversity blow around you in these difficult times, I would like to use as advice a verse from the poem, Like the Malave, by Rafael Zulueta da Costa. Quote, become like the Malave, firm, resilient, staunch, rising on the hillside, unafraid, strong in its own fiber. Yes, like the Malave, unquote. I promise you, however, that not everything will be dark and gloomy. There will also be thrilling moments, exciting encounters, and stimulating discoveries. I suggest you treasure both the highs and the lows and look on them as learning opportunities and growth points. The entire CEU community, its administrators, non-teaching personnel, faculty, industry partners, and alumni are your companions in your mission to create your brilliant future through the development of your abilities, talents, values, and character. Let the Lord our Father be our guide. As our president said, let us turn our hopes into actions. And indeed, we can expect the whole CEO community to support and guide us in this wonderful journey ahead. Again, thank you very much, Madam President, for that very heartwarming welcome message. Yes, and of course, as a starter, Pami, though, I just want to ask, our freshmen and transferees, have you logged in in your, in your CEO leaps? Ayan. As you may know, Yang CEO Lips Natin is our platform for our, for all our courses. And first, to access that, you must type in your browser or your search bar, the ceu.instructure.com. And yeah, to help you use this, you will see in your dashboard my Canvas guide and flash in our screens, which are instructions on how to navigate the CEU Lips and try out the module on welcome freshmen and transferees yeah, and that is a short module about ceu and all their courses are arranged this way of course you can also download the ceu canvas application through your apple store or play store to easily access your modules Ayan, nakikita nyo dyan through your mobile phones. And please try to do this so that you will learn bits and pieces about CEU and at the same time, become familiar in navigating the CEU leaps ready for your classes on Monday, August 16, 2021. Yes, and more on that, Ate Mikai, our learning experience is made more fun with our CU Engage found in the Google Currents. You can access the CU in Engage. Once you have activated your account, then you can click the Google application menu in your CU Gmail. Let us stay engaged and connected throughout this wonderful school year, okay? So moving on, after listening to Dr. Padolina's message for our first year students, it got us more excited to know our freshies better. That's why we will be having a short interactive activity called Fun Time with our new Escalarian. Yes, Rami, and this portion is a game-based learning platform that makes it easy for people to play learning games or trivia quizzes in just a few minutes. So, well, we call it Kahoot, and you can see in our screen, well, Kahoot was established in 2012. And to tell you honestly, we have been using this learning platform for our activities like the Leadership Congress, which being interactive makes the game thrill some. 
you got that right, Ate Mika. It actually feels nostalgic playing Kahoot because I would end up imagining our auditorium filled with students enjoying such an interactive activity. I believe this Kahoot game will tell us if our freshies watching us, watching us here today, have a good grasp of the history of our beloved Centro Escolar University, which becomes their alma mater in the making. Yes, and to play this game, kindly open your browsers and type in kahoot.it or you can also access the link provided in our comment section below and afterwards you may enter the code to join the game and again you can see in our screen the code of the game is 646253 Ayan, we can see players now entering, Tom. Yes, <laughs> come on, guys, it. because the game will only cater to 50 freshies. So mm -hmm. go and join now. Okay, ayan. Oh, and dami. And dami no worries, though, because mm -hmm. we still have lots of activities later that will give you a chance to join, okay? Also, everyone be reminded that players who have inappropriate nicknames will not be included in the game because these nicknames will be filtered. So if you want to join the game, make sure to use your real names or real nicknames, which are all beautiful, by the way. Yeah. Yes, again, the code of the game is 6460253. Okay. I think we can start the game, Ayan. Let's go. This is fun time with our new Escalarians. For our first question, when was Central Escolar University founded? For our choices, we have June 3, 1907, June 10, 1910, November 9, 1934, or January 17, 1873. Again, the question is, when was Central Escolar University founded? Yeah, we already have answers here. We're just waiting for the correct answers. Let's see which of these choices are correct. Yes, guys, there you have it. The correct answer is June 3, 1907. Let's see yes. who is on top of our scoreboard. Ayan. We have Mark with 965 points. Nice one. And Ali and Shane. Hello, guys. And okay. congratulations. Now for our second item, who is the incumbent president and chief academic officer of Centro Escolar University? For our choices, we have Dr. Rosita El Navarro, Dr. Pilar Hidalgo Lim, Dr. Maria Cristina Di Padolina or Dr. Dionisio C. Tonko. Ayan, we can see answers now. On plus na din. Okay. Sito kaya? I think everyone can answer this, Ate Mikai. <laughs> <laughs> Talaga naman. Of course, the correct answer is, that is right, Dr. Maria Cristina Di Padolina. And of course, at the top of our list, sino Ayan. Aba Ayan, na iba. We have now Ara on the top of our list with a score of 1,774. Of course, followed by Josh, Bianchi, Ali, and JB. Okay. For our next question, we have, what is the twin philosophy of Central Escolar University? We have CEU inspires, it empowers, science in virtue, your vision, our mission, or my life, my choice. Again, the question is, what is the twin philosophy of Centro Escolar University? I believe this was mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. no, Ate Mikai? So yes, I hope right, everyone man. gets the correct answer. Okay, the correct answer is science and virtue. Okay, let's see who is on top of our list. Okay, Josh is back on the scoreboard, followed by Blinky and Riri. Congratulations, guys. All right, for the next item, we have the question, what are the three major campuses of CEU? And so choices natin, we have CEU Manila, Makati, and Malabon. CEU Manila, Makati, and Paranaque. CEU Manila, Makati, and Cebu, or CEU Manila, Makati, and Malolos. 
Ano yan? Ano ang three campuses natin? I think this is quite tricky, Ate Mika, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, that is right. And of course, the correct answer is... Of course, it's C, yung Manila, Makati, and Malolos. Naku, sino kaya nasa top ng ating list? Baka napalitan uli. Ayan. Ayan. Over, ayan. We have now on the top is Yankee with score of 3,387 followed by Shai and Joshi. Okay, um, next for our last question. Who are the founders of Centro Escolar University, formerly known as the Centro Escolar de Senoritas? We have Librada Avellino and Maria Francisco de Velicaran. Librada Avellino and Felisa Francisco. Librada Avellino and Attorney Fernando Salas. Or Librada Avellino and Carmen de Luna. Okay, which, which of these are, is the correct answer, guys? Mm-hmm. Ayan, we have the correct answer here and it is Doña Librada Avellino and Doña Carmen de Luna. I, th- I think 159 answered correctly. Wow, majority. Good job, guys. Let's see who are our podium finishers. For our third place, we have JB with 4,099 points. Second is Shy with 5,000 something and... For our first place, we have Yankee. Wow, congratulations with 4,204 points. And our runner-ups are mentioned below. Congratulations, guys. That was such a fun time with you. Thank you very much for actively participating in that short activity we prepared for you. We hope you guys enjoyed playing. And don't worry if some of the questions have not been answered correctly because your stay in the river city will set that right also we have more activities later in the program and more surprises for you so make sure to stay tuned to continue we'll be presenting a video that will allow you to know more about the very dedicated and hard-working top and middle managers of the university the administrative council headed by the president and chief academic officer school deans academic department heads and the Makati and Malolos Coordinating Council. Actually, at Mikai, CEU Makati and CEU Malolos yes. are having their university orientation simultaneously with us. So, Tarana, Escolarians, let's watch this. department heads and as you continue your study in CU, you will get to know them more and indeed I am looking forward to this beautiful encounter you will have with them sooner or later. That is correct Ate Mikai and for the next four or five years just like us, CU will be your home too. Yes and before we proceed Tami, we would like to give you a glance in our USC Weekend 2021 Dancing Competition Champion from the School of Dentistry, Melana Chavez. Just to let me down 
You mess me around in the worst of all You never call, baby, when you say you will But I love you still I need you, I need you More than anyone, darling You know that I have from the start So bear me up But it come, don't break my heart I'll be over in ten, you told me time and again But you're late, I'm playing around in bed Get in the door, I can't take anymore It's not you, you let me down again Now baby, baby, try to find A little time, and I'll make you happy I'll be home, I'll be beside the phone Waiting for you Just to let it down You mess me around in the worst of all You never call baby when you say you will But I love you still I need you, I need you More than anyone darling You know that I have from the start So build me up But look up, don't bring me Again, that is Milana Chavez, our USC Weekend's Dance Competition Champion. Moving forward, I think it's time for another interactive activity to spice up our morning event. This activity is called Bits of Thoughts from our new Escalarian. And thank you, Tommy. So everyone, are you ready for our next activity? I add, we will be using the Slido, the ultimate Q&A and polling platform and we are encouraging everyone to prepare your phones or laptops again so you can click the link provided in our comment section below to access the slido browser or you can also scan your qr code flashed on our screens yes and once you have reached the browser you may enter the code to this activity which is 256045 256 045 so you can participate and type in your thoughts by the way guys just a quick trivia in case you haven't heard of it yet qr and qr code actually means quick response so that means qr codes can help you access things easier and faster and you can try it here now in our orientation and in future activities that await you as escalarians all right Okay, okay, let's start our poll now with our first item. Now with a qu with a question. Give one thing from your bucket list that you would like to do as an Escolarian. Wow. Ayan, again, you can join orgs. Of course, wow, there are many nice. orgs that are for our students. My F to F graduate. Okay, a concert. Ayan na ko ang dami to graduate yun lumalaki ang graduate natin. Join orgs. Mm -mm. Join the CEU Pep Squad. Of wow. course, fun. Aba talaga naman super daming ini-expect ng ating freshers. Be a part of its own and um, be a dean's lister, of course. <laughs> Good Mag job. You can do it, guys. Ng CEU. <laughs> <laughs> ayan na ko talaga. Of course, okay. ayan. Thank you for that. Um, first item answers, everyone. Tommy, okay, for our yes, for our next question, how do you cope with the pandemic? Okay, meron agad answers. Praying, wow, very good. Sleeping, basketball, build confidence, make memories, mm -hmm. do interactivities, and dami biya din yes, sleep read books. Sleeping, Wow, Netflix. good job, guys. Oh, and kung ano man yan, kung paano man kayo mag cope. Just go with it, and we hope you can mm -hmm. interact with others. Okay, next yes. question. Thank you so much for all your answers. Yes, for, for our last, but not the least, of course, how do you see yourself 10 years from now? Ah, the graduate, doctor. <laughs> wow. Ayan, friends na marami, pediatrician, dentist, doctor. Ayan, successful, successful dentist. Ayan. Magkakaroon ng time management, professional, yes, of professional. course, ayan. Talaga naman, di ba nga sabi na ating president, this pandemic is not 
um, a reason for us to stop, then we should keep going and reach for our dreams. Again, thank you very much, Freshies. Ayan. Thank you again, Escalorians, for that highly particip participative spirit that you've displayed. Talaga namang sumasagot agad. Wow, good job, guys. So moving on, since we have already met our dearest administrative council, deans and heads, it is equally important that you meet our selected support services in CEU. And this support services will help and assist you in many of your needs and concerns. And during this online mode of learning, these services are just a click away to be of assistance to you. And you can contact them through the emails that will be shown in a little while. And for this, we would like to acknowledge, of course, our marketing communications department for putting up this very informative video for our new Escolarians. I am Dr. Carlito Olayar, Vice President for Student Affairs. Our office is in charge of providing you with relevant programs and activities that will challenge you to be globally competitive, disciplined, socially and digitally engaged. Our office will also assist you to actualize your full potentials. May all your endeavors in pursuing excellence be imbued with the core values of the university. Seize the opportunities. Feel free to get in touch with us and welcome to your new home, Central Escolar University. Hi, I'm Dr. Rada C. Aguilar, the University Registrar. Our office is in charge of admissions, scholarships, foreign students, alumni, student records, registration, grades, and student evaluation services. Feel free to get in touch with us. And welcome to your new home, Central Escolar University. Hi, I'm Dr. Donna Manigbas, Head of the Health Services Department. Our office is in charge of attending to your various healthcare needs. Feel free to get in touch with us. And welcome to your new home, Central Escolar University. Hi, I'm Dr. Carmen Sita Salonga, the head of the Guidance and Counseling Department. Our office has two major functions, counseling and testing. Feel free to get in touch with us, especially if you are looking for someone who will listen to you and where you can speak about important things in your mind. Welcome to your new home, Centro Scolar University. Hi, I'm Dr. Sofia Magdalena Robles, the Coordinator of University Ministry. Our ministry is committed to the task of building and nurturing faith communities on campus, facilitating an integral faith formation, and engaging everyone to the core values of CEU. Our university ministry welcomes you to CEU family. I am Dr. Lolita Di Pablo, Head of Community Outreach Department. Our office is in charge of developing the value of social responsibility among our students. Feel free to get in touch with us. And welcome to your new home, Centro Escolar University. Hi, I am Jericho Orlina. I am your Assistant Vice President for Business Affairs. My office handles career services and placement. Please feel free to get in touch with us and welcome to your new home, Centro Escolar University. Hi, I'm Romel Hotte, Head of the ICT Department. Our office is in charge of overseeing the installation and maintenance of CEU's computer network and information system. 
we ensure that our infrastructure runs smoothly to support our operations and learning. Hi, I'm Dr. Teresita S. Mijares, the head of the Teaching and Learning Technology department and our office is in charge of assisting both teachers and students in any of their CEU LIPS concerns. Feel free to get in touch with us and welcome to Centro Escolar University. Hi, I'm Nick Greeny Jr., head of the security department. Our office is in charge of safety and security services. Feel free to get in touch with us. Welcome to your new home, Centro Escolar University. And there you have it. And as they have said, welcome to your new home, Central Scholar University. Once again, those are the selected support services of CEU, which you can go to anytime you need help or assistance. Thank you very much both to our marketing communications department and of course to our freshies for watching. I think you guys, since we are already in the middle of this getting to know ourselves better in our school, allow me to take this opportunity to encourage you all to heed the call to register for our national elections next year. You cannot vote if you are not registered. If you want change, you have to vote. If you want to vote, then register. The deadline of the registration is on September 30, 2021. Although we are still anticipating if there will be another extension because of the lockdown, especially here in Manila and some identified provinces. So no worries everyone, the USC will keep you updated on these matters. Yes, and Pam, that actually segues to our next interactive activity. It is called Empowered and Inspired as Warrant for the country and the world. The call to register for the next year's election is not whimsical and it is a serious matter that we in the academy and being a youth must consider. Actually, there is a survey going on right now on whether you are a registered voter or not. So please fill up the survey form and check our official page, the CEU University Student Council official page for that link. So guys, the same instructions apply and you can click the link provided in the comment section or you can also scan the QR code flash on our screens to access the browser. Yeah, and all right guys, the same instructions apply. You can click the link provided in the comment section or you can also scan the QR code flash on the screen to access the browser. I think we can start now. Let's yes. go for our first Question, are you a registered voter? Yes or no? Yeah, and two answers, yes or no? We already yeah, have no. one answer, mm -hmm. four answers. Okay, 63% of these answers are yes. Wow, 65, it's still coming. The answers are still coming. Yes, go guys, just keep on go coming. Guys. I am. Don't be, don't be um, afraid or shy if you're not yet registered because you still have time. And ang yun nga, sabi natin hanggang September 30, kaya go lang. Okay, so 170 of our answers are answered yes, 60%, 61% still coming. Majority answered yes, so that's great, guys. Good job. Yes, and moving on to our next question in one word. What quality are you looking for, the future national leaders wow. of our country? Of course, with the coming national elections, yan, kailangan natin alamin kung ano ba dapat competent. Yan, honest, honest, competent, empathic, ambitious, trustworthy, humane, sensible, yan, brave, good, transparent of course ayan ang laki ng ating competent totoo naman responsible yes of course yan 
Okay. okay, thank you very much for all your answers. Moving forward to our last question. How can you be a good and abiding citizen of our country? Yan. Yes, Ayan, we already have an answer. Responsible, competent, to register and vote. Following yes, the ma. rules. Ito nga, Ate Mikai, voting for the right candidate. That is very correct. Yes. Let us be wise voters. Yeah, and to register and vote. Hindi corrupt. No to corruption. Integrity be, by being critical. Okay, by following the rules. Wow, very good, guys. Those are all great. And thank you very much for your answers. I hope that activity motivated you all to register and vote, especially now that the 2022 national election is very close. So if you're eligible to vote, Please, please spare some time to register and exercise your right to vote. Yes, and kaya nga na sabi ko kanina, sabi natin to those who are not yet registered, you can still submit your registration forms to the COMELEC until September 30, 2021. And let's be the change you want to see in our country. And we can start this by voting our future leaders. Kaya abante tayo, Escolarians. So that being said, allow us to present this video prepared by the University Student Council, Manila. Everyone, let's watch this. Ayan, thank you USC officers for that very patriotic video. We are one with the Filipinos around the world. And always remember guys, your vote is your vote. At this juncture, we are proud to present to you our dear freshies, more Escolarian talents as we listen to the musical talents of Mr. Kim Correa and Mr. Jerome Ventanilla from the School of Education, Liberal Arts, Music, and Social Work. And of course, our very own USC Trio.
Ayan. So, ayan, as you can see, our freshies here in CPU, ayan, as Koreans are truly talented. And this only proves that CPU is the best place to showcase our talent. Yes, and to continue, Ate Mikai? Yes, allow me to explain this portion we call the hashtag CEU Adventure. And these are videos from the different school councils and the university student council put together to showcase the digital or online life of CEU students last year. And yes, it was not all study and it was all fun and games for the students, which also brought so much lessons and learnings for everyone. Yes, this will allow you, our dearest freshies, to have a preview of the type of activities conducted online by the students. So aside from your synchronous and asynchronous classes the whole week, you also have the chance to join activities of your schools and the university. So how to join? You can be a member of any of the organizations on campus. Check out the dates of the organization membership campaign and connect with your respective student councils. So, are you ready to watch our online programs and activities? Sit back, relax, and enjoy your CEU adventure. Continue to dream big and aim high. This pandemic calls for your best lights, not your dark thoughts. It calls for your best efforts, not lackluster and feeble jabs. It calls for high resolve, not lame excuses. servant leadership not leadership meaning lording over all people diba mayroon ka wow authority so ganyo ko hindi true leadership is service look at the example of jesus he served he served people A student leader.
leaders of CEU, this is my challenge. Shine bright where you are now. But what we are actually trying to aim is for us to evolve to our better version. We hope that we that this experience would help us to evolve into something that is better, you no, know, for the better. And we all transform and be extraordinary because these trying times also require extraordinary measures from all of us. Great next normal leaders are authentic. And uh, what I'm going to share with you are mostly based on study and research and as I talk to people. And uh, one of the qualities of the leaders na umaangat ngayon when it comes to leadership is that the idea of being authentic.
inside your universe You hold me like I'm the one that's precious I hate to break it to you but it's just the other way around You can thank your stars all you want but I'll always be the lucky And there you have it! Thank you to our school councils and University City Council Manila for that video. With this, I would like to acknowledge Pamino, our 2,000 plus viewers in Facebook wow. and YouTube. Ayan. And I hope everyone enjoyed it as much as Pami and I enjoyed the show. And everyone in the CEU community remain connected and inspired to push one another to go on despite the challenges. I agree, Ate Mikai. It was truly memorable and amazing to have accomplished mm -hmm. so much. I bet our students are more excited to see and watch out for the upcoming events of our university, schools, campus organizations, and the University Student Council this school year. That is Yes. Okay. Thank you, Ate. Thank you so much. <laughs> Since okay, this is a very then, important part of our online learning journey, yeah. we would like to reiterate how you can access the CEU Leaps. Again, the instructions are shown in the screen. The instructions on how to access it is shown on your screens again to take note. Take note, guys. And in case you have problems logging in, you can email tltdsupport at ceu.edu.ph. And for problems regarding your email address, you can email support at ceu.edu.ph. Also, to encourage you to access our CEU Engage in Google Currents, please, please meet our CEU Engage characters. Let's watch this. My name is Cola. I'm from Student Engagement Team. Hi, my name is Leorio from Successful Online Learners Team. Hi, I'm Pierre from Student Digital Wellbeing Team. Hi, I'm Avil from the Student Citizenship Team. Hello there, my name is Carmela and I'm from Student Digital Citizenship Team. Hi, 
Hi, my name is Lorena. I'm from the Student Digital Etiquette team. Hi, I'm Officer Serena from the Student Digital Security team. Ayan, there you have it once again. That is our CEU Engaged Characters. And now, down to the stretch of this orientation, let us introduce the hashtag Flex Your Escolarian Badge. Yes, the hashtag Flex Your Escolarian Badge is an art card that will be sent to your email before this orientation ends. Now, this is what you are going to do. Let's watch this, everyone. Step 1. Download your Escolarian badge from your email. Step 2. Follow the CEU official social media accounts in Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Step 3 your Escolarian badge on your Facebook or Twitter profile, tell us why you chose CEU in the caption and identify the campus you're from which is CEU Manila and make sure your post is public. Step 4, use the hashtag flex your Escolarian badge and tag the official Facebook or Twitter account of CEU so we could see your entry. Ayan, and this stuff are also sent to your emails. Kaya naman po, go ahead and do it now because 10 winners will be chosen on the same day at 5 p.m. later and which will be announced on City Official Social Media account. Yeah, so good luck, Freshies! We know that you have a lot of questions in your mind and we may not be able to address that here. But you have all the opportunities to join your respective school orientations this afternoon. So again, check out the links shared with you by your school. Yeah, and don't forget to fill up the evaluation form that will be shared with you right after this event. And now, to formally end our orientation, let us all take a moment and proudly sing the CEU hymn to be led by CEU Singers Manila. Mabuhay ka, mahal naming pamantasan Mabuhay sa nakilang sentro eskolar Ika'y dambana ng pag-ibig sa bayan at ang hang na sariyang matagumpay Kapag ang diwa ng iyong mga hibig Umagona sa puso't ibig Sabay-sabay na ipasisigawan Mabuhay ka dakilang sentro eskolar Mabuhay ka mahal naming pamantasan Papuri sa dakilang sentro eskolar Ika'y dambana ng pag-ibig sa bayan At ang kong nasariyang matagumpay Sentro eskolar, sentro eskolar Thank you everyone for participating in our university orientation and i hope everyone enjoyed and got the chance to meet 
your fellow freshies and learn more about our CEU community. We are hoping to see you soon in our upcoming events for school year 2021 to 2022. This has been your host, Pamela Gracie Corpus, your University Student Council First Vice President. And I am Micaela Alisa V. Flores, your University Student Council Manila President, saying mabuhay ka, mahal naming pamantasan. Mabuhay ang dakilang Centro Escolar. Thank you. Thank you. God bless. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everyone.